Hello, David Moore, Equity Advantage, 1031exchange.com, and I just wanted to give a brief sort of uh, update on where we are with tax reform. It's actually September 22nd, uh, 2021, and uh, we did uh, last week got notice that uh, 1031 at this point is officially okay. So I want to stress at this point in time, 1031 doesn't is not uh, scheduled to be amended, changed, eliminated, any of that. We're not looking at uh, any of those issues we were considering with the half million per person per year on deferral cap. It's uh, officially been preserved at this point in time. Uh, not to say that couldn't go forward and have a problem going in the not too distant future, it seems like. I was talking with my wife a couple of days ago, and in the 30 years we've been involved with this, it seems like every few years we deal with it. Last time we were defending it was back in 2017. So, hey, four years later, here we are again. But at this point in time, looks like 1031 is going to be preserved as is. Uh, the other thing that I just want to you know, mention that we're still I'm, I'm very concerned about is, is people going mark to market on distributions from limited liability companies. So, you know, right now we've got a situation, rarely do we use S Corps and C Corps to hold real estate because if a group of us own a property via an S or a C Corp and we want to go different directions, just getting the assets out of the entity are going to destroy any benefit at 1031. And it, it was actually proposed in tax reform that that same type of treatment would be applied to limited liability companies. And anyone out there that uses LLCs knows that there would be a tremendous problem. So hopefully that does not go forward. Hopefully that goes away. Uh, it looks like we will have an increase in capital gains tax. We don't know uh, exactly how much that might be. It might just be a bump of 5% or so. Uh, we can live with that. Uh, the bigger concern I've got still is the, the, uh, the possibility of retroactivity. So uh, you know, lots of people are trying to get deals done right now. And if you look at the bill's in, initial proposals, it was effective. The tax increases would be effective uh, for 26-21. So people that are getting deals closed now, paying their tax, you know, they've got, they're hanging out there a little bit. They're a little bit in jeopardy until we get some clarity. Now, with that said, I can't imagine that, that they pass this and go retroactive on the increase in capital gains without uh, major, major uh, judicial action, it would seem like. We're going to have lots of people that come in after them and, and, and suing them for that change. So I don't know if retroactivity is something that's even plausible, even if they propose it and they, they pass it. I don't know when we really look at implementing it, whether it's going to be able to go forward. But just be aware, if you're selling something right now, you plan to pay the tax, my advice is talk to your tax people. This stuff is changing daily, and you, you just want to have the conversation with your tax people so you can plan for whatever may come up. Uh, David Moore, Equity Advantage, 1031exchange.com. Hope you've appreciated this. Not appreciated it, but you, you, you hope you get something out of it. And as anything changes, we're going to be getting more word out. But if you've got questions on this or any other topic, 1031 or IRA, please don't hesitate to reach out. David Moore, Equity Advantage, 1031exchange.com. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.